going on guys? My name's Cameron, we're back again with another YouTube video. So today we're going to be talking about this complete degenerate named Just Gooby. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video on someone this disgusting and this deplorable. And so I'm going to preface this video right now. We are going to touch on some pretty touchy subjects. Um, you know, if you guys are used to my channel, obviously you know that the, I kind of do this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, just a heads up. Let's get into it. So who even is Just Gooby? He is a fairly small YouTuber. I think he has under 18,000 subscribers, but that's still, you know, small YouTubers can still do really awful things. Um, and basically he plays, he does like Roblox videos and stuff like that. And this video, I'm going to kind of format it a little bit differently. So the first topic we're going to talk about is the Napkin Nate situation. So Napkin Nate is a very popular actually Roblox YouTuber. Um, him and Just Gooby would do videos together about uh, like a jail escape role play or something like that. And apparently fans really enjoyed it and a lot of people want Napkin Nate to come back because as you guys know, probably don't know, um, Napkin Nate has been on a leave for quite a while now. And there's been a lot of rumors coming out and a lot of people speculating. So on Just Gooby's server, he actually did an announcement saying that Napkin Nate was being blocked and he was harassing and uh, stalking uh, just Gooby, which is really confusing because we end up finding out that they actually have never met in person. So I don't really understand the stalking, nor did Gooby ever release um, proof that Napkin Nate would ever abuse him, um, which again is, is really confusing to me. Um, and then uh, a rumor started spreading that Napkin Nate was actually arrested for domestic violence. Nedzo actually did a video talking about it. The information is really confusing. Um, just Gooby would also claim in Netzo's video that uh, Napkin Nate had a schizophrenic problem. He had panic attacks, anxiety attacks, stuff like that, which would lead to him being super paranoid, um, which I don't really understand the context of this in this video. I feel like if your friend's opening up about their mental health to you, you probably shouldn't make it public, which uh, is another reason why Just Gooby is kind of a scumbag for making this information that is supposedly private public about him and his friendship. Um, again, I don't really understand how this had anything to do with the situation, maybe to prove that he was paranoid, because later uh, he claims that that he um, just Gooby would plant a webcam in his room, even though they've never met. Um, you know, so they end up saying that uh, he end up uh, Nedzo ends up actually putting a, uh, a police report or something like that, which was all blacked out. So we don't know if it's true. But another YouTuber, Sam Steo, I believe, actually has done multiple videos on this, and I watched a couple of his videos too to get context for things. And uh, apparently, he was actually arrested. But it wasn't really for the reasons we think. Apparently, he did get into a fight with his mother. Again, though, there's not really any solid proof. And that's not going to be the only time I'm going to reference Jasmito because he's done re a really good job researching this topic. Um, so, yeah, basically what happened was now Napkin Nate isn't uploading anymore. No one really knows why. They assume just Gooby kind of pressured and abused him into doing it. Obviously, there's not a lot of evidence around this situation. And I also don't really want to focus on the situation itself because we got a lot of stuff to talk about with just Gooby. But that is the first thing I want to talk about. And uh, a, a reason why he claims that he, people are uh, people are um, coming after him is because uh, people believe he's the reason why Napkin Nate doesn't upload anymore. So he's kind of trying to undermine people and say, listen, all these DMs, all these things you're seeing, uh, it's just people who are Napkin Nate fans and they're just trying to take me down, uh, which he's going to claim multiple times. So before we get into the, uh, the DMs and stuff like that, the first thing I want to preference is um, his YouTube channel. And the reason why I'm bringing up his YouTube channel is there's a couple reasons why. The first thing we're going to talk about is his description. So he says, people blame me for Napkin Nate quitting YouTube and think they have a sense of justice in terms of the, these false allegations towards me. They take everything I say out of context and there can be proof provided if needed for each thing taken out of context. They have been out to get me for many years and just because Napkin Nate quit YouTube, I can admit I was edgy, but these allegations about me are completely untrue. They will also, they will literally just take things out of context. Also, they Photoshop and not provide the message beforehand of conversations that would easily prove these allegations are false. These people are very bad people and spread misinformation and trick others into believing them. I am also a proud LGBT member and I came out as gay a long time ago while I was with Napkin Nate, which would literally further prove that these allegations are false. Even Napkin Nate himself would say so. I hope Napkin Nate is doing well because he was a good friend of mine even if we split up so this is written like a 10 year old uh it is absolutely insane and mind you keep this description in mind as i go over some of these dms and some of the stuff he's accused about so the next thing we're going to talk about is his discord so the first way i want to introduce you guys to his discord on his same youtube channel his same youtube channel he has a short and this is how this is how he sells you his discord this is how he wants you to come into his discord
easy Discord server to join? Come join my Discord server, Gooby's Gaming Center. You can be as toxic as you want. And no, this isn't a Roblox only server. So as you can see, it is a terrible idea to invite people into your Discord and say that you can be toxic. I've gone over this multiple times, how if you tell people they can be toxic, they're going to be toxic. So this proves even more how much of a toxic Discord he has and kind of how the environment he had in his Discord because him himself is a lead edgelord and he's going to attract these kind of people into a place where they can uh, share awful images with each other, talk about awful topics, and just be awful people in general. So... Now let's talk about his grooming. Um, this one is pretty massive to me. Obviously, I cover this stuff a lot on my channel. I don't stand for grooming. I don't stand for anyone who will sexualize children in any way. And there is a plethora of evidence here showing that he will uh, send nudes to minors, has sent nudes in his Discord. Um, more preferably, we're going to be talking about two people. I'm not really going to name them. I'm probably going to blur them for their own uh, protection. I'm not going to blur the people who are his Discord mods and stuff because they are fucking scummy people. But the first purple we're going to talk about is I'm not going to name her. But uh, she was proven that she is 13, 14. And you can see by these DMs multiple times that they were openly showing her porn pretty much on his Discord. His Discord was known for openly allowing hentai, lolicon. There's been uh, times too where he's allowed CP on his uh, on his um, Discord and he knew that he had underage people on his Discord. So this girl was being uh, pretty much indoctrinated into watching this kind of stuff and it's absolutely disgusting. I feel like if you know you have uh, minors and underage people on your uh, Discord, you probably shouldn't be allowing not safe for work stuff or allowing people who are under uh, 18 to be on your Discord. Um, so obviously that is super disturbing. This person was uh, being shown nudes constantly. Um, just Gooby has posted nudes in his Discord openly to a Discord full of minors. And it's, it's absolutely disgusting. The next person we're going to talk about, again, I'm not going to name, but um, they pretty much, he pretty much got nudes from her. And she is also a minor and he was openly bragging about it on his Discord. Um, you know, and, and uh, other people in his Discord too, his moderators were also getting nudes from her. And again, this is absolutely deplorable, absolutely disgusting. And um, his mods too are just as bad as he is with this and other things. It's absolutely disgusting, like I said. And uh, I mean, the evidence is all there. And for those of you who are going to say that this evidence could be photoshopped, yada, yada, yada. Um, I will post towards the end of the video a full four minutes of uh, a leaked video of his Discord of someone actually going through most of his messages. Um, so it, it's pretty much proven that all these are real. Um, like I said before, just openly posting uh, his nudes in the Discord, um, which is proven in the DMs as well. And uh, yeah, just disgusting. Um, his moderators too, uh, one specific named Stefano, would also add girls on Snapchat who are underage um, and try to solicit nudes from them and stuff like that. And uh, it's no secret that they would uh, give each other nudes and stuff like that on his Discord. I mean, there's messages and, and everything here. Um, so yeah, absolutely disgusting. Um, he also would will defend pedophilia and uh, lolly and all this stuff in his DMs all the time on his Discord. And uh, he also has posted his opinions on dolphins, which, I mean, you guys can read that there. I'm not going to say it out loud. Uh, I mean, I've already had enough of this guy. It's absolutely deplorable stuff like that. There's uh, one really disgusting part where he's pretty much talking to another minor in his thing, uh, talking about his little sister. And again, you guys can read the DMs. I'm not really going to go into it. Just disgusting behavior by him. Deplorable. And this man is saying that everything's taken out of context and it's photoshopped and it's lies. And again, so many YouTubers have made videos on this guy and uh, it's disgusting. Again, there's not much for me to say about this. I mean, the DMs are there. I can't really add anything to it. I mean, you got to be a terrible human being to, to try to, first of all, justify incest. Second of all, justify... Uh, underage incest. It's disgusting. Um, so the next category I'm going to go into is uh, the doxing and harassment that happens on his Discord. His Discord is known for doxing and harassing new people, people who disagree with him, other YouTubers. There's another YouTuber named Mark Busters who did a full 20 minute videos talking about how he had to shut down his Discord because um, his mods actually went over there and started harassing and doxing his Discord. So he's known for this. Um, again, he can sit there and try to defend himself as much as he wants, saying, oh, well, the doxing was taken out of context and all that stuff, even though there's proof out there that he will actually 
weaponize his community and go dox and harass other discords and other YouTubers who speak out against him. And uh, it's it's a disgusting situation. Again, anyone defending him, I don't understand who how you are because he's avidly actually going and promoting doxing. Um, there's multiple, again, evidence from his Discord of him allowing doxing, talking about doxing, and there's tons of proof that he actually does do doxing on his uh, Discord multiple times. Um, it's, it's deplorable. It's disgusting. And like I said before... I don't condone doxing. I've never condoned uh, weaponizing your community. And it seems like this guy is ticking off every fucking check mark with just being a complete scumbag. Uh, another thing I want to talk about too, and there's not a lot of evidence out here uh, respectfully, is um, there's a thing going around that he pretty much made a girl commit suicide. Um, this was also talked about in M. Steele's video. He brings it up towards the end where he actually got evidence that there was actually a funeral or something like that. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of proof that this actually happened. But, um, you know, it's still disgusting knowing that this was a possibility and it doesn't surprise me with how he treats new people in his community and treats uh, minors in his community and stuff like that and how they're docs and they will uh, harass anybody. You know, it's this is uh, a story. It kind of reminds me of the Maximilian Musk situation where he would weaponize his community and, and allow toxic stuff being posted. And there is proof that he has allowed CP to be posted again uh, Jazz, Jazz, Jazz Steel talks about it in his video, and it's just disgusting. And and this is one of those situations where there's so much evidence, and I'm surprised he's not in jail. It's actually insane how this man is not in jail, and I'm pretty sure his Discord is still up. It's a little confusing. He privatized it now because if you do click on his link on his YouTube channel, it it doesn't allow you anymore. I don't see why he would take down his Discord. Obviously, he's not uploading on YouTube anymore and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. This video, again, is just to make this public knowledge. Um, there's a lot of people who reached out to me about this and uh, are terrified of not just him, but kind of the person he is and how dangerous he is and um, the manipulator and liar he is. And that's the next thing I'm going to talk about, how much he will manipulate and lie. Obviously, you guys already know that he's trying to gaslight everyone who goes against him, saying that the DMs are fake, that uh, he didn't make Napkin Nate quit, which again is up to question if he did or did not. Um, a man like him, I would be surprised if he didn't make Napkin Nate quit. Um, but he has also lied about his age multiple times. He said that his age was 27. He said his age is 24. And people have actually done some deep diving on him, and they realized that his age is probably closer to around 33 so this man is in his 30s posing as a 20-year-old, which again is a big red flag if the evidence already did not claim that. But, uh, you know, he will lie and manipulate his moderators, his fans, um, people who are talking about him. And uh, overall, just a complete terrible person. And I feel like you have to be a complete garbage person to get people to actually reach out to other people to do videos and talk about you because it's absolutely disgusting. And uh, obviously someone like you should not be allowed or even have a platform. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about. Obviously, uh, there's tons of other YouTubers who have done videos on this if you guys really want to do a deep dive into this guy. But, um, you know, I said what I said. I said my piece. Also, real quick, before the video ends, I also want to do a huge shout out to a friendly bear who actually reached out to me and was able to provide me a lot of the screenshots and stuff. He used to be a member of the Discord and uh, was actually able to get a lot of this information. So I respect him actually putting himself at risk uh, to get this information out there and spread the word on this complete degenerate. Um, it reminds me a lot seeing something like this that um, just because it's not a big YouTuber, it still doesn't mean that a lot of people won't get hurt or people should be talking about it. So big respect to people like him and uh, other YouTubers who have been talking about him. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.